Hi, I'm Shannon Brinker with the Academy of Chair Sign Assisting, and we're here today to talk about photography and giving you some quick tips in regards to contrasting. There's lots of different contrasters out there, um, and I want to talk today about the ones that are available and the ones that I feel are really, really great tools when we're talking to patients about their dentition and also really enhancing craze lines, cracks. Um, showing patients that they are really destroying their teeth. And when we talk about that, it's so hard to just ask patients about the cracks and did they notice these little areas. Um, and a lot of times they'll tell us no. And so at the chair, it's great whether you're taking photography or you just really want them to hold a hand mirror and look at these areas, this really accentuates those craze lines. And so it makes it so much easier for us to show them and to share what we're seeing. And so what I wanna do is just kinda of show you a couple of the ones that we like to use. Um, this one actually we are selling now on our website. It comes as a set and they're made of rubber so you can wipe them down and place them right into an autoclavable bag and put it in your autoclave or your statum. They come in a set of two and I'll show you what's a little bit different with each one. This one has a rubber handle so it makes it a lot easier for us to hold on to. And if we're going to place it in the patient's mouth, and I'm going to place it in my own mouth here in a minute so you can see, it will actually hold the lip out of the way. And a lot of doctors like this for the simple fact that they don't have to use cheek retractors. So if I were to put this in my mouth or put this in the patient's mouth, I would actually hold on to the rubber piece and the patient could even do this for us. So if the assistant's taking the photo or the doctor's going to be by themselves, um, you don't need another set of hands because the patient really is your assistant. So I'm going to place this in my mouth. I'm going to show you what it'll do. So when we place it in, And then it also will go on the upper arch. So if I was laying back in the chair as a patient, I could place it in and really hold it this way. So it really helps in the aid of really getting those lips off the teeth. I like this and it's rubber and it's very comfortable for the patient. The other thing that you can use is a contraster, and there's lots of different things out there. Um, I, I, I know that um, you know, we could always use our gloves. There's black gloves out there from Cranberry that I absolutely love. Um, if we can't grab something really quickly, um, we'll just take our gloves and place it behind the patient's teeth. Um, that would be one choice. Some people like to take construction paper and cut it in little squares. They'll use um, articulating paper. Um, and this is <clears throat> what we like uh, probably the most is this little rubber contraster. And I have two different types. This one is really wide and you can see that we could actually just lay it right behind the patient's front teeth for those one-to-one -one shots. Um, or if we really just want to have a communication tool, I think this is really great. There's another one out there from Practicon. And those of you that know that I love a lot of Practicon products, um, different sizes. This actually is the Pedo. Um, and it has a little bit of a bend to it. So this way you can really put it up against the patient's teeth and it's got a rubber handle. Um, really good, but this one is more of a, a like acrylic, not as much as the, uh, I'd say sponge or you know, a little bit more silicone feel to it, but both are really great. And this one would do the same thing. We would just place it right behind the patient's front teeth to really show them those craze lines. I really like this. And I will tell you, if you're having a hard time in hygiene or as a doctor, talking to patients um, about you know, where, and that's so important to have that kind of conversation, um, this makes it so much easier. If you're taking photography, this is a no-brainer, um, or just even giving the patient a hand mirror and saying, listen, let me show you what I'm seeing. Have you noticed this before? Because again, they're gonna tell us no, most patients will, and it's hard to have that conversation of why do we need, or why is the doctor prescribing a night guard uh, for instance, for helping them to stabilize their bite and not lose any more tooth structure. This is a great way to do that. And so just want to mention any type of armamentarium that you can use to really enhance that conversation is so important. I'm Shannon Brinker with the Academy of Chair Assisting, and this is our photography tip of the day. Mm -hmm.